Hello and welcome to Oklahoma State University. My name is Meredith and I'm a marketing senior. And I'm Dante, a psychology senior. And this is Josh Dante. Where's Josh? I don't know. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I was talking to Professor. My name's Josh and I'm a physiology senior. We're glad you're on the OSU campus today. Visiting a college is the best thing you can do to see if it's the right fit for you. However, if you can't make it, this virtual tour should be the next best thing to being here. We'll hope you love it as much as we do. Let's get started. Oklahoma State University was founded December 25, 1890. We were originally Oklahoma Agricultural and Mechanical College. Our beautiful and historic Old Central is the oldest building on campus and the oldest educational building in the state. It is currently home to the Oklahoma Museum of Higher Education and will soon be home to the OSU Honors College. The Business Building, home of Spear School of Business and the Watson Trading Floor. The Watson Trading Floor is actually a student lab where students get instant feedback from Energy Futures, dot-com startups, and even blue chip firms. Other than that, professors have the capability to recreate the 1929 stock market crash, among other scenarios. Here at the Oklahoma State campus, there's always something going on. If you're ever interested, just stop by Kyle Clock. There's always organizations outside, passing out bottles of water and hot dogs. If whenever you walk by, just look down at the sidewalk and you'll always see some sidewalk chalk. Behind the Kyle Clock is the classroom building. The classroom building is what it is. No matter what your major is, the odds are you're going to have a class in the classroom building. Morrill, home to the English department here at OSU, was named after Senator Justin Morrill, founder of the 1862 Land Grant Act. This important legislation created more than 70 land grant universities, including Oklahoma Agricultural and Mechanical College. In 1914, the building was destroyed, leaving only the exterior walls and this staircase. In 2006, the building celebrated its 100th birthday. The Bartlett Center has been home to the Oklahoma State University Department of Art since 1970. The building was built in 1909 and has since survived a fire in 1914. It was originally built as a women's dormitory. The Gardner Art Gallery found in the Bartlett Center opened in 1965. It functions as a valuable teaching resource and facility for the university and community to experience the visual arts. The Gardner Art Gallery, located in the Bartlett Center, allows students to showcase their work alongside faculty members and guest artists for the university and the Stillwater community. The Serentine Center is home to the music and theater department here at OSU. The center holds a concert hall of 900 seats, a continental theater of 600 seats, as well as classrooms, labs, practice rooms, and offices. The Vivia Locke Theater, located in the Serentine Center, holds four major productions a year. The students themselves do much of the work, including lighting, costumes, set design, and set construction. Hi, the Heisman Trophy, NCAA's most prestigious football award. And thanks to Barry Sanders, Oklahoma State has it. And this is Heritage Hall, where OSU honors 48 national championships, fourth most in the country. And gold medalist, a Heisman Trophy winner, and a history of excellence in the athletic arena. A visit to Heritage Hall is a trip through the history of OSU from the Oklahoma A&M Tigers to the OSU Cowboys. Right now, Boone Pickens Stadium is a quiet, empty place. But on a cool fall Saturday evening, this place is transformed. The stands are a sea of orange on game day, and the energy in the stadium is amazing. 60,000 students, alumni, and fans pack this place. This stadium has come a long way from the original wooden grandstand, which was built in 1920 with a capacity of 5,000. Welcome to historic Gallagher Ivo Arena, the rowdiest arena in the country. I've always wanted to say that. Did I sound like the announcer? Don't quit your day job. Home of the original student section, students have been packing this place since 1938. And during the 2000 and 2001 season, they literally raised the roof on Gallagher Iva, doubling in size, allowing even more fans to be a part of the action. The arena puts fans in every seat in the house right on top of the court, helping to give the Cowboys a tremendous home court advantage. The coolest part about this place is that this is the original white maple floor from 1938. Just think about all the great cowboys and cowgirls that have played basketball and wrestled on this very court. Welcome to the College of Engineering, Architecture, and Technology, also known as SEAT. The college is the oldest school of engineering in the state and the only combined school of engineering, architecture, and technology in the country. We are now in the Advanced Technology Research Center, or the ATRC, one of the newest additions to SEAT, built in 1998. I am now standing on International Lawn. Behind me you will see 20 different flags. 
Each flag that is flown represents a different country. The flags are switched out throughout the year, and every international student will have a chance to see their home country's flag represented on campus. Now let's head inside to the Noble Research Center. The Noble Research Center, our NRC, stands as a representation to OSU's dedication to research. The NRC houses many labs, from biochemistry to molecular biology to entomology and geology, and is home to the Boone Pickens School of Geology. We are now in the new classroom building, and behind me is the Student Success Center, which is kind of an alternate place for you to study besides the library. Um, there's a small cubicle area that you can kind of rent out by yourself and use a dry erase boards to maybe do some math homework or whatever, or you can rent out a, a bigger room um, for you and a group to do a group project. Also in the North Classroom Building, we have Roots Cafe, um, which provides students an all-organic option on campus. They can choose from fruits, veggies, sandwiches, salads, juices, and a wide range of meal bars. The Edmund Lowe Library was built in 1952 and named after former library director Edmund Lowe. Lowe and then-president Henry G. Bennett are the reason why the state's top research library is here at OSU, containing more than two million volumes. The library offers students the resources to study and research however they wish, from quiet and silent study areas to group study areas and a full-service coffee shop. Students will quickly find their favorite place to study. The library is completely wireless, and if students don't have a laptop, they can check one out here. The library is open until 2 a.m. during the week and 24 hours a day during dead week and finals week. We are now here in the Villages, which is just uh, one of many options that we offer here at Res Life. Um, Oklahoma State actually holds the records um, for a uh, number of times of being the school of the year. Um, and that's because we have spent over $200 million in the last four years um, just improving our Res Life halls. Um, so with those different options that we have, we have the apartment style housing, we have deluxe suites options, we have uh, community style living, which is more of like the traditional dorm feel, and also traditional suites, which is exactly what the villages are. Um, we have different lounges and different areas for each of those places. Um, Res Life brings a lot to the table with the hall government. Um, they actually help and plan, and you can use the money that you put into paying for a living in the Res Hall into back into your community, whether it's painting your living room, adding a surround sound system. Welcome to the Colvin Recreation Facility. This is our recreational uh, place here on campus where you can work out and try to avoid the freshman 15. Um, this is br brought to you back by the student body from days of old, if you will. Um, the university approached them and said, what do you want to see in your rec center? And it took $23 million of renovation projects to complete exactly what the students wanted. We have an indoor track, we have golf simulators where you can play on any PGA course in the world and get kind of a simulated version of what it would be like. We have an outdoor pool that is amazing and beautiful with a whirlpool. We have an indoor pool that has two high dives and low dives where they do kayak lessons in. Um, we also have intramural sports located in here and this is where you can do several uh, different intramural sports. Uh, some of our most popular ones are sand and indoor volleyball, basketball and football. We also have the rock wall, which is behind me, um, which offers a, a membership for rock climbing as well as outdoor adventure where they go on trips around the, uh, around the nation and also sometimes around the world. OSU's goal is to become the healthiest campus in the United States. Um, and the Colvin Center is one way we can achieve that goal. Welcome to the Student Union, the largest student union in the world. Inside the Student Union, you can visit the undergrad admissions office, the bursar office, or even career services. If you don't want to go to career services, you can always stop by the student store, the bookstore, the barber shop, two different banks, and even the post office. Maybe you're hungry, you can always stop by the food court and get pizza or sushi. The historic Atherton Hotel at the Student Union is both a learning laboratory for the hotel and restaurant administration students and a luxury hotel. It has been a gathering place for families, alumni, and friends since it was built in 1950. This boutique hotel also includes the Ranchers Club, a five-star restaurant. The former gardens are located right in the heart of campus. The renovation of former gardens was completed in 2001, and new brick pavers were added with messages from alumni and friends of OSU inscribed on them. This is State of Ponds, built in 1895 by the students. This pond served as a watering hole for horses and livestock. In 1922, it was renamed Theta Pond because of the Thetas that lived across the street. Now this serves as a landmark here on campus. You can see weddings, engagements, and also everyone's favorite, the orange lights that light this pond for homecoming. Well, now you've seen it all. Well, most of it anyway. We hope you enjoyed the video tour of OSU. So come join us for the real thing. See, see you later. later. Go, Go Pokes! Pokes.